President Miroslav Lychak is a career diplomat who's promised to focus on the people that the UN serves. CGTN's Ling Tan sat down with him for an exclusive interview. She started by asking how the UNGA president will address priorities for the body and its 193 member states. The most important thing for me is that we focus on people, that we don't forget for a second that all we do is meant to improve their lives. Now, what would you say, though, is the biggest challenge ahead for you? There are many challenges, unfortunately, <laughs> and it's difficult to prioritize them. Uh, Yet, I, I will mention migration, because migration is a new global phenomena. I don't think there is a single person on this planet who has not come to confront uh, the issue of migration one way or another. We have countries of origin, countries of transit, countries of destination. I think every single person on this planet has his or her opinion on migration. And yet, there is no global regulation on migration. We react on a national level, and usually we are in reactive mode. So we need to be proactive. We need to have a global governance. And obviously there is only one address that can produce this global government, which is the United Nations. So this will be one of the most visible, most active, most uh, difficult issues for my presidency to deal with. Uh, I've allocated the highest number of days exactly to deal with the issues of migration because we shall present to our citizens a document and I want to make sure that document provides a solution or is a way in the right direction, is a step in the right direction to provide a solution to the issue of migration. Now, the UN has come under a lot of criticism for being more reactive than preventive. How do you plan to be more preemptive when it comes to preventing conflict? Diplomacy is about preventing, avoiding conflicts, because after the conflict breaks out, uh, there is no job for diplomats. It's, it's the role for the military people. So I really believe that uh, we should do a better, better work when it comes to avoiding conflicts. And uh, the instruments are here, and, uh, and, and there are elements of preventive diplomacy that are in the, within the UN system. I just don't think that we resort to them uh, often enough that we uh, don't focus on prevention of, of conflicts as our first concern. It's also because we are not always able to show the necessary political will and also ability to listen to each other. And you've spoken about the need for greater trust among UN member states. Where do you think this trust is needed most? I think the most important thing is to understand that we are in it together, and that we are facing uh, challenges that no country, not even the biggest one or the richest one, uh, can solve individually. Because the challenges that I'm, I'm speaking about do not respect national borders. Uh, as an example, migration, terrorism, climate change. So we shall understand that we all <coughs> only succeed if we agree on a solution that is a solution for all of us. And that's why we are 193, but we must not stay locked in our national positions. We must not be narrow-minded, because then we will all fail. So we all succeed or we all fail. And therefore, I really hope that we will get over the, the, this national interest and to understand that the common interest is, is good for every one of us. And therefore, I really hope that we will be able to demonstrate this.